Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you what has got to be the most requested video ever, and it is a Shein Curve haul. So I have done these in the past, and it was just like such a heavily requested video that I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do it. And then they were all like, can we sponsor it? And I was all like, yes. So this video is sponsored by Shein. Um, Guess what friends, right now through November 30th, Shein is holding its annual Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. So you get up to 80% off of select items and you can use my special code Sarah Ray for an additional 15% off the entire Shein site. Shein is also hosting a ton of incredible like Black Friday giveaways. So they're gonna be giving out a million Shein bucks to thousands of winners. You can find all this information down in my description box and find out how to um, enter their one million million Shein Bucks giveaway, which is like the largest giveaway they've ever done to date. So hope some of you guys actually win. Good luck. And, um, and I have a ton of stuff here to show you guys. So I really wanted to get a better feel for the sizing because I feel like that's the trickiest part. Obviously Shein is a ridiculously affordable retailer and I think, now I know, that that is a big reason why you guys are so heavily requesting them. Obviously the clothing is super affordable. I have links and everything for you guys down below in the description box. Hopefully um, most if not all of it is still available. Uh, but if not, then just kind of take the sizing recommendation and apply that to things that you do see that are available. This skirt I got in a 2X. I got pretty much everything in a 2X, including this bodysuit. Let's go ahead and zip this bad boy up. <laughs> this skirt does have, I think it goes on the back. Or maybe it does go on the side. I feel like you can do it however you want. Oh, the seams on the front, so here we go. One more spinny, one more spinny. Okay, I had to adjust my lighting a little bit. How do we look? Good? Okay, so the top is a bodysuit and it does go up on the hip. So like this is a shaper panty I have on and then this is the bodysuit. So the bodysuit is definitely like a high hip bodysuit. That being said, the length of it, I have plenty of room like in the torso. So if you're taller than me and maybe um, rounder, like you have a little bit more belly than I do, then this is probably still gonna be totally fine for you because it's super duper stretchy. Um, obviously I have on a, like a neutral kind of fleshy, not even fleshy, it's really like a, a deeper skin tone than my actual skin tone, but so you can kind of see it a bit. And then you have like this little mock neck. This is like my favorite, like I love a bodysuit like this paired with a skirt. So I have a bunch of skirt options, you guys. I hope you like skirts because I really went in for it, <laughs> okay? Um, so then in this skirt, I got it in a 2X, like the mass majority of everything I believe I got in a 2X and it fits well actually. So um, it doesn't stretch or anything and it does have these loops, it has them here in the front, it has the zipper closure and then it has more loops in the back so you could loop probably a black belt through there. I think that would be really cute if you have one of the um, little Gucci belts that everybody has. I don't have that. Um, but if you have that, or maybe a Gucci inspired belt, uh, you could probably wear it <laughs> with this skirt. It's not super short, but it's definitely not, a, doesn't have like a ton of length to it. If I actually pressed it against um, my backside here, it covers a little bit of my upper thigh, but it's definitely not like, you know, it's not leaving everything to the imagination, let's put it that way. But I would wear this with a pair of black tights and probably, so imagine this either like this with a black coat or with some tights or something like that and you have yourself a cute little outfit. I almost forgot to show you guys, I got a ton of like jackets, um, is it jackets? Sort of like cropped um, button ups and stuff like that. Uh, because for me, this time of year, this is like basically my go-to. I layer stuff up, um, but I don't like to be too hot because I don't know about you, girl, but I'm a sweater. So um, I got this, right? They have a bunch of options of like button-ups and like lightweight stuff that you can layer on. Um, they have a bunch of printed stuff and then they had some in that were like, you know, solids and stuff. So this is like a corduroy material and I got, again, this one in a 2XL. Um, and I thought I would just get it and either pair it with like leggings or just denim with like a crop, which is definitely a style for me that I tend to uh, gravitate towards. I was gonna say navigate towards, but that almost kind of would have worked as well. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and button this. I got this in a 2X, but I probably could have sized down in this one just because it is so oversized. That being said, the oversized look is kind of the point, um, but there's definitely enough room to like, you know, actually button it up if I wanted to button it or just kind of keep it open, which is the style that I would have gone for. Oh, this is cute. I kind of like this. I like the, 
I like how lightweight it still is because again, like I said, <laughs> I'm a sweater, okay? <laughs> so um, a lot of times, you know, you only need something a little bit light just to kind of break the wind from hitting you, <laughs> like a windbreaker. Um, but other times, obviously, it's, it's real out here and it's freezing and you actually need to put on a coat. But if you don't need to put on a whole coat, oh, I like this and it kind of covers up like my butt a little bit too. Oh, this is cute. Okay. All right, I'm back. So this uh, top I got in a size 2XL as well, along with the skirt. The top has a whole bunch of like stretch and elastic in it. So, you know, no worries there. It's gonna accommodate lots of different folk. Um, and then it is almost like this sweatery material. So it has a little bit more warmth to it, but it's not very thick. So it, you can obviously see that it's like really conforming to my body and kind of, you know, <laughs> attaching itself. Um, and then it does cross in the front here and you can kind of close it a little bit or you could open it should you have some boobs and you, you know, that you want to expose like cause they're this pale and they need some sun on them. Some <laughs> vitamin D if you will. And then this part down here stretches as well. Not a ton though. So it's nice that it actually kind of sits and it has some structure to it. I decided to pair it with this skirt, which is in the same color family. I don't know what I was expecting from this skirt, but I wasn't expecting it to fit this way because it actually fits my waist like perfectly. And this one has a zipper on the side. Oh, it's a little skew on me right now. <laughs> has a zipper on the side and it has the hook and eye on top, which is clutch when it comes to closing a skirt or a dress or pants or anything. That little hook and eye on the top is just it's beautiful. Um, but it, look, it, there's no gap or anything in the back, but it's also not overly tight on me. And then there is some give in the skirt, but I think the reason it fits so well, and now I do have a shaper panty on. If I had a shaper short, this little line right here would be, um, it would kind of be a bit more like disguised. Um, but I'm really not mad at it. I just want you guys to know that. <laughs> it does have a slit on the side as well, on the thigh. But I think the fact that the material is not super thick, it's not like a really thick corduroy, is the reason that it's shaping so well to my body. Like, do I not give you kind of, I was gonna say pumpkin spice, but this is not pumpkin spice. This is like caramel macchiato in here, okay? She's got a little depth, she's got some flavor. So with this, I decided to pair another one of our little button-ups, and this one has the same color, I want you to be able to see. It's got the same little color kind of running throughout it, so it does get pulled in, and because it's got the gray and the black and everything, kind of allows you to pull that in, should you want to. Again, it has the oversized fit. It fits very similarly to that black one, except this is not corduroy. Um, huh. How do I feel about it with this? I think it's like a little too masculine for like how girly I am on top. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be a little bit too masculine for this particular outfit, but you can see the fit of it. Again, tons of space. <laughs> okay, so um, you can definitely uh, size down if you're in between sizes or if you don't want such an oversized fit. I definitely could have sized down in this one. Even in the arms and everything, we have tons of space. Again, it's about the same length, so it does cover up the booty. If you're trying to pair it with um, some leggings, you can't say I didn't warn you about like the skirts and the jacket situation, right? Because I'm pretty sure I did. I might have edited it out, but I definitely said it out loud. Okay, so we have another skirt. This one I haven't pulled up kind of high, but you can go ahead and pull it down um, lower and it's still gonna, I mean, for me, it fits totally fine. Again, it's a 2X, this is a 2X and the jacket's a 2X. So this is the same as the uh, black one. This, so it's like that lightweight kind of corduroy material. I thought it was such a pretty look. I did have this outfit in mind when I uh, added it to the cart. So I think it's cute, it kind of all comes together, you know, you don't have to wear it with a little jacket. You can, you know, do the tie it around the waist moment, but it's kind of long for that. Um, so anyway, it's a good option though, if you want to, uh, like I said earlier, pair it with leggings. This is like the perfect thing, like leggings, crop, oversized jacket. That's. That's pretty much how I move through life. So the skirt is really cute. It's very similar to the first one that I showed you, except it doesn't have any belt loops or anything on it. And then the colors are like that tannish kind of taupey color. And then it has black and like a cream and then obviously like a couple of different pinks. And this is again a bodysuit. This one has just a regular scoop neck on it. Now this one is nothing like the previous bodysuit because this has got to be 
the longest bodysuit I have ever put on like in the torso. So like I said, it's a size two. It's very stretchy, it's very comfortable. It feels very like silky smooth. I mean, it's pretty opaque. I would say more so than the previous one, but it's also a slightly darker color. Um, but if you have a long torso, or again, you have like more belly or back or butt to accommodate, this is the one for you because this one has definitely got a lot more length. It doesn't hurt to have this length though. It does make buttoning it extremely easy because there are like three little snaps um, on the crotch. And it, I've never had a bodysuit body that is like this long in the torso and I never realized I needed it. So length on the skirt is good. It's similar to the first one, like I said, a little bit. It feels like a hair longer. It does also have a zipper, which I have on the right side over here. Isn't it just so like, it's so cute. I just live for like this type of look. The skirt itself doesn't uh, stretch, so definitely make sure you're buying with enough uh, space to accommodate your waist. And I did pay attention to the size charts and to the reviews. Um, and so I think that's really what kind of guided me in the right direction. Cause so far so good on all the sizing. I haven't had a single issue. Look, if you take nothing else away from this video, take this little bit of wisdom I'm going to impart upon you, okay? I don't, I don't really know that it's wisdom, but what I do know is that what you need in your life this season is a sweater dress, okay? A black sweater dress. I have featured a couple now, and they just, you know what, it doesn't even have to be black. I have a green one that will, it will change, it, it changes me. It makes me into a different person when I put it on. Get yourself a sweater dress, okay? They are the most comfortable thing ever. I don't care what your body shape is or what it looks like, sweater dresses are the most comfortable thing ever. It's just like wearing a blanket across your whole body. It doesn't have to be fitted, okay? But if it is, we get bonus points there because honey, they just do great things for everybody's body. I love to see women in sweater dresses. I just love them so much. I had to show you guys at least one option. So here we have full on sweater dress. And it obviously it goes in here at the waist. It's a fitted dress. Um, I got it in a size two. This one has the drawstrings on the side. So if you wish, you can kind of take it up and make it kind of shorter. You can let those hang longer. You can tie them or you can just go ahead and let it be stretched out and um, tie them at the bottom. They're, <laughs> they're like different lengths currently because of the way that they're pulled. Um, but they go up to about the waist. So you definitely have a little bit of flexibility in terms of the length of this dress. But if you just left it kind of as is, it's a pretty solid length. It's like mid thigh in the back. It stays put. It's it's thick, it's not like overly thick, but it definitely feels like you're wearing a sweater. It's not itchy or anything, it is so comfortable. Sweater dresses are one of my absolute favorite things to wear in the fall and winter. I like to wear them with flat over the knee boots because it's like you wear a dress but you don't feel the need to like wear heels. And personally for me, flats are um, very uncomfortable. <laughs> so I like to wear like faux suede over the knee boots with a sweater dress and then if I really, am, if I'm going out, if I'm like trying to really jazz it up, I'll do like a statement necklace, we'll do some big earrings or I'll do like an oversized uh, blazer cardigan kind of situation and it really just cozies the whole thing up but I still look good underneath which is really what I'm going for. <laughs> Okay, I picked out more skirts than I even thought. If you thought this was the last one, you would be incorrect. Uh, this one though is like this faux leather. Again, with the faux leather, with the vinyls, um, it's hard to get the fit right oftentimes because of how, I guess how thick the material is. Like, But this one feels more like, um, oh, you know what it feels like? It feels like when you have like a, kind of like one of those easy breezy like pull on, um, faux leather leggings. It reminds me of that, like where it's got plenty of stretch and it doesn't like bunch. It doesn't like, not bunch, but like hollow out around the knees. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But that's kind of what this one feels like. So it's not super thick. Can you, you can kind of see the line there from like my shaper panty, but it, it, it feels good and it's ruched. So it's got the ruching going on each side. It does have a zipper on this side and I pushed it down just a teeny tiny bit in the front. Here's my shaper panty. And it's, I like it. I like it. It's got a good length in the back. The butt looks good. We're chewing good things back there. And then I just got this little simple crop and it's just like, you know, again, a little ruched 
sorry about the sunlight on me. It's just got um, this nice spicy orange color to it, which I love. Um, and then the straps are adjustable, I believe, right? Yep, the straps are adjustable. And then I got this cropped jacket and I wasn't sure which outfit I was gonna pair this one with, but then I saw this one and I was like, oh, <laughs> perfect, okay. So it is again um, that corduroy kind of material and it has, on this side, it has this print, which I loved. And then it kind of has some of these tones in it, which is the reason that I paired it all together. This one has more of like a bubble sleeve. I hope that's like kind of coming off on camera there. It has more of that bubble sleeve, so it bubbles out quite a bit. I think it's super cute. This one does not cover the booty since it's cropped, but I love it. It's a 2X. Again, if you didn't want that super oversized fit, you just size down from, you know, whatever size it is that you wear. But overall, <laughs> overall, hold on, let me try out a different jacket while we're here. Okay, so this is a Similar to the previous one, but it's not quite the same. The bottom feels a little bit different. Again, I mean, it's gonna close. It has plenty of space and it has that sort of cropped, but like baggy feel to it. What do you think? Aren't these outfits cute? I feel like I did a really good job like actually pairing it all together because normally, my shopping videos, they're just chaotic. Things are just coming from every which way and I end up with like 47 shirts and one pair of pants and not today, honey. I did a good job, right? Are you proud of me? <laughs> I feel like I did a good job, but you guys did say that you would like to see a couple of different options when it comes to wearing um, whatever outfit it is that I end up like showcasing to you guys. So I'm trying to incorporate a couple of different ways to do things just to kind of give you some ideas. And if you don't follow my Instagram, that's where I have been posting my like outfit inspo that I post on my stories. So <laughs> if you don't follow and watch, you won't see it because I never post on my feed. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm trying to be better, you guys. I swear I am. Hi, I'm back, and this time I'm wearing pants. Okay, so the top is in a 2X. Again, it's like, um, well, this is more of like a, this feels more like a thermal than like a sweater. So this has more of like a, a thermal thickness to it, and then it has a little poof. How cute. It has a little poof on the sleeves. You guys know I've been trying out some different sleeves and stuff lately if you've been watching my videos. And how cute. The sleeve length is interesting. It's not quite a three quarter and it's not quite just like a short sleeve so it's somewhere between three qu okay so if it's not three quarter it's what what's smaller than three quarter like three fifths this is like a three fifth sleeve so it's a three fifth sleeve and then the pants are super stretchy they don't have pockets or anything they are like a pixie pant um for me they go to the ankle they bunch just ever so slightly if I wanted like a true pixie pixie, I would probably do like a like a cropped pixie. I'd probably do like two inches up. Um, but overall, they're very comfortable. I mean, they're just super stretchy pants. No buttons or pockets or anything on the back either. They go up. These, I would consider these a mid-rise um, all the way around. They are basically a mid-rise. And in the front, they kind of cross. And on the model, they look like they went down more like that. But on me, they kind of even out. <laughs> and it's just kind of like a normal... Um, you know, uh, waistband up here. So they are stretchy. There's plenty of room in here. I would 100% not size down. Your girl could not go down a size. That would not work out for me. But they are overall very stretchy, very comfortable, very easy breezy. You know the rest, so. <laughs> oh, sorry, I forgot to show you the length of the shirt. The shirt is slightly cropped, like slightly, slightly cropped, ever so slightly. I mean, it's not a cropped shirt, but it's like a, it's a cropped shirt. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a cropped top, but it's like a slightly cropped shirt. Now you know. All right, I'm back. This time I have on a green, it's, this is very similar to the other one. In fact, this is probably the same skirt. And I just got it in two different colors because like green and orange are kind of my jam right now. So um, this one fits me a little bit more snug, but I think it's because I have this uh, sweatery kind of material underneath. It's about the same length. It still fits pretty well, um, but it does have the zipper here on the right. And then again, it has like a little slit on the leg. So cute. I love this color scheme, man. Like cream, green. <sighs> They rhyme for a reason. Okay, don't hate me. One last skirt with this top. Oh, oh, hi, Pocket. We have pockets in this one, all right? This is, again, that uh, corduroy kind of material. This one doesn't have... I feel like this one doesn't have the stretch that the other ones had in them. It does come with a little belt, and then it has the button closure. If you're afraid of these popping open, which I 
I understand. Anytime there's buttons on the bottom half of me and it's not just like a pair of jeans, I'm a little bit afraid of them popping open. I would just actually sew it or just throw a, um, a couple of little stitches through it. You know what I mean? You have to sew the whole thing shut. But uh, this skirt comes with a belt and then the back it actually has like an elastic the waistband is elastic all the way until the time you get to here and then you just have a regular sort of um, waistband so I think it doesn't fit me quite as well as some of the other ones did but still cute all right I'm finally out of the skirts I will say that I'm pretty particular with my jeans so I was like a little bit on the fence about attempting to find jeans at Shein but the whole point of this was to show you guys kind of the sizing and the options and stuff. So I went ahead and picked up this pair. These are in a size 2X, I believe. If I'm wrong about that, I'll put it on the screen. Um, but they're like a mid-rise jean. They are very stretchy. They have, you know, plenty of elastic and everything in them. And then I think they were supposed to be a little bit cropped, but I'm like a little bit on the short side. So uh, they hit me basically right at the ankle. They have a little bit of detailing and stuff at the uh, ankle on the bottom and then the hem is frayed and I think other than that they fit pretty well. <laughs> Booty? They fit pretty well and like I said they're kind of in like the mid-rise category. Which if you've been around my channel you know that's actually my favorite like everyday rise. And then I paired it with this little hooded top. I thought this was cute. So it's cropped and it has the elastic here and if you guys can't tell like this was definitely the vibe of the whole video. It does have this like gray hooded um, part on it. I thought it was so cute. It'd be cute with like leggings or jeans or whatever and it obviously runs quite large because it is again kind of that like oversized fit and feel. So this is a 2x but if you're in between or you don't want it to be so big just go ahead and size down. Let me show you a couple of other options. <laughs> Hello pumpkin! You get it? Because I kind of look like a little pumpkin. No, I don't know. Okay, I guess it's November now, so we're done with pumpkins or I don't know. Um, okay, so this is obviously like a cute little baby doll situation. We have our empire waist up here. <laughs> umpire like in baseball. Um, we have an empire waist up here and it is fully elastic so it stretches, accommodates lots of boobage up here and then of course the arms are actually quite nice. They're not too tight or anything. I would say my arms in a size 2x are probably the max. This is the max maximum capacity here is my arm. But it just kind of flows out. I love tops like this. I don't wear them all the time but like when I just need something I know I'm gonna be comfortable in this is the type of stuff I reach for. Like there's no fussing with it. It looks cute. My boobs can be here on display, not on display, whatever. I can eat a lot. I can unbuckle my pants if I want. You know what I'm saying? Like I have so many options with a top like this but at the same time still very feminine, cute, dainty. <laughs> This whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, so cute. You think we were done with the black jackets? No, I have two. They are incredibly similar. So I'm just gonna show you the difference real quick. This one, okay, is slightly cropped. This one, oh, and the buttons. That one has like brown buttons, and then this one has silvery ones. Jingle bells, jingle, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, this one is longer and a little bit thicker. So we're gonna go ahead and try this one on because it's longer and thus I like it better. That's just the way my life goes. Oh, this is so cute. This is fun. This is fun. I love it. This reminds me so much of one that I bought very recently and I, dude, oh, I just love pairing these with leggings. I love it. It's my favorite thing because I run so hot normally that I like to have stuff like this to just kind of like air it out, air it out, give me some of that cold air, okay? Cold, bring it together, wrap it up. We're ready to be cozy now. So this is kind of who I am. This is cute though. Again, a size 2X. This is not quite as oversized. I feel it is, but it's not. Like the arms are not like gigantic compared to the other ones. The other ones I felt like the arms were very big. Um, given the size that it was. Uh, but this one I feel like the arms are a little bit more on par. Still a loose kind of relaxed fit though. So this is cute. It is very thick. Like I'm like I'm trying to express to you guys. Oh, this one is two. This one is two. Don't let me lie to you. They're both, they're both the same thickness. Um, but I think that's all I have. Let me double check. Okay, I lied. I had one last thing. This is obviously just like this little crop where it has like this drop shoulder. I think you can pull it up though. I think it's meant to be a little bit on the shoulder. And then it has, it looks on screen, it kind of looks like it's frayed, but it's not. It just has that kind of like, I don't know, what do you call this? When it's almost like it's, it's sewn longer so that it can bunch. 
you know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's a word for it. But anyway, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, for everyone that requested it, I hope I have satisfied some of your sizing and questions, answers, questions. I hope I've answered some of your sizing questions. Um, if you guys want to get any of the links or anything for any of the stuff, it will be down in the description box. Again, thanks to Shein for sponsoring this video. I was appreciated. And... Que mas, que mas, que mas, que mas, voy a decir, que mas. So don't forget that you guys can use that code Sarah Ray for an additional 15% off of the entire sheet and site. And you can get yourself something. I mean, you can get stuff for other people. They have a gifts for everybody. They have home decor, cookware. They obviously have plenty of cute clothes. Just like your one-stop shop for holiday gifting, pretty much. So <laughs> you can check out my description box for more information on that 1 million Shein bucks giveaway. And don't forget to use my code Sarah Ray for an additional 15% off of the entire Shein site. Is black my new color with this hair? Or is black my new color with this hair? Does anyone else feel this? Like I only wanna wear black now, which is really cutting into my full vibes because it doesn't really include the color black, but. Okay, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really, 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 really do. And uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If there are any other like very affordable retailers that you are looking to see on my channel, <laughs> feel free to let me know. I would be more than happy. I really take my direction from you guys. So um, yeah, I hope that I satisfied those of you that were asking for a Shein haul and uh, I answered some of the sizing questions that you guys have. If there are any more and you think I might be of some service to you, feel free to drop your questions and stuff down below in the comments and I will be around to answer them. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram if you do not because I will be posting <laughs> some looks over there and I think that's all I have. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.